Hey guys, well today I want to talk to you about a Prusa. Is it all it's hyped up to be? I've always looked at the Prusa and I've always wondered if it was worth buying this machine. I've always wanted one but the price was just out of my reach. I was recently lucky enough to be able to buy a second hand machine and uh, here it is. It is about a year old and it prints perfectly. I am super impressed at how it prints. So when I bought this machine, I had a bit of a problem with the transit. So it was sent to me by the guy that I bought it from up in Joburg. It had to come down to Durban, which is about a 600 kilometer, approximately 350-400 mile trip. And uh, it had to come down by courier. So we sent it via Postnet and it came here damaged. As you can see by this image with the box, there is there are fragile stickers plastered all over this thing. Handle with care, fragile this way up, and as you can see, there's two big holes in the side of the, of the box. This caused damage to the printer. So this side here got damaged, and on this side here, on both sides of the carriage, and also the vertical mountings for the Z-axis motors. So if we look here, this is what happened. So this got broken off, and uh, this is an original Prusa part. This has got broken, and uh, that was rather devastating to me as I got my new machine. Uh, parts of it over here were broken, so there were a couple of pieces that were broken. Overall, the, the, the machine, if you look over here, you can see that that is all cracked open. So, yeah, unfortunately, it looked like the Korea company handled it very badly. They did pay out me a little bit of money as, a, as an insurance because of uh, there, was a, there was a little bit of insurance on it. So I did get it for even cheaper than I originally bought it, which is great. So I reached out to the guy that I originally bought the machine from and he still had a Prusa. He had two machines, he sold the one uh, and he managed to print this out of Prusa Mint. He had some spare Prusa Mint that he was using from the original purchase of the machine and he printed these parts out for me. Shipped them down to me and fit. I fitted them and everything was perfect. These were broken, this was broken, this was broken. So you know, it was quite a, quite a lot to repair. But he printed these out on the Prusa from the original Prusa parts that are posted on the Prusa site. And this machine works flawlessly. And that's what I love about this machine. It is a 3D printed machine. All the parts here, all the plastic parts, are 3D printed. And that just makes so much sense. If you go and look at the Prusa farms, they are extraordinary. If you look here at this video here, you'll see that they're extraordinarily big, they're large, they've got the, and they all they're doing all day is printing out Prusa printers. So it was such a great honor for me to be able to buy one and I was really excited when this machine arrived. I put it together and now the question, does it live up to the hype? And the simple answer is absolutely. As I said earlier, the price is expensive. It's an expensive machine at $799 for the kit, uh, which lands here in South Africa with the import duties and the transport and all that. It gets really expensive. It's around near to my full salary, one month's full salary for the new machine. So that's a lot of money that you're spending. But is it worth it? And is it worth it to buy a secondhand machine? Well, the proof is here. This machine is definitely worth it. I got this for a fraction of the cost, about a third of the price of the new machine. And uh, I was able to get it going and start printing. And the one thing I've, I love the most about it is the bed leveling. You don't have to do bed leveling. That's always been a pain that you've got to constantly check your bed leveling. And when you get bad layer adhesion, you've got to adjust your bed leveling. All that kind of thing. It is, it is a pain. But... Does this, is this machine better than my Ender 3? Now, the Ender 3 is that staple norm, that one that is coming in at $299 or under $200 or whatever it is now, and it's coming super cheap, right? And it's coming at a price point where people can afford to buy it. I bought the Ender 3, and I've loved that machine. That machine is a good machine. It works well. It does what it's supposed to do. Um, I've got the artillery, which was sent to me by artillery, and that machine is a great machine. There's a, you know, the direct drive is a, such a benefit over what the Ender 3 offers. So, really, is a great machine, and I love these machines. But this machine is just, it feels like it's in a league of its own. It's five years old, guys. It is five years old. And that is amazing that after five years, it still has that amazingness about it that it prints so well. Yeah, the Mark IV has just come out. Amazing machine. It looks really exciting. I would love to upgrade this machine to a Mark IV. Again, the price would be prohibitive. 
but it'll be a great machine to have in my arsenal because this machine just prints so well. Uh, if you look at the parts that I've got on the top here, I use this daily for my coffee machine. Uh, it, it, is, it works really well. I have a problem. I've got some shorts. You can have a look here at the, at the link to the short of using this here, this portal filter adapter, the funnel to make my coffee. This is another little funnel that I've been experimenting with just to play with and see what it was like for, for my coffee. And finally, this is a WDT that I've just recently made. The WDT, so if you look at this, it's got those fine needles. Okay, and I used this here, which is a nozzle cleaner. These are, are nozzle cleaners for your... These are essentially acupuncture needles, and I believe that's what they are. And uh, we use them now to clean out the nozzles. It's got a beautiful diameter to get into the nozzle and clean it out. I bought a pack of four, and I made my own WDT. WDT is used, if you look at this video, you can see uh, me using the WDT to, to break up the clumps and the, the, uh, the, the f coarser particles in your ground coffee to make your coffee taste better. And it does, actually. It is a, it's a wonderful little tool. It's just a, just a nice little thing because I love coffee, as you guys know, and this helps me with making a better cup of coffee. I also printed some fidget spinners, and uh, these have been great. So this is a print-in-place fidget spinner, and it is a fidget cube, just another fidget cube, as it's called. It's available on Thingiverse, and yeah, it's a great little, a great little example of what you can print as a print-in-place. The hinges all separated and worked really well. I've got this little, another little fidget spinner that I printed on this Prusa, and this piece looks gorgeous. If you look at this piece, have a look at this here. Look at, look at this. It is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, it's stunning. It looks so beautiful. So clean. The print is so clean. I printed this here as well as another little gear fidget cube and, or fidget spinner, and this thing is great fun to play with. It's actually it's terrible to have these things on your desk because you sit and fiddle with it all day. Uh, so yeah, sometimes I've got to move these things away from my desk because I fiddle with them a lot. I love practical prints. Not I love prints that you can use and you can do things with. I'm not sure a huge fan of ornaments, but my daughter asked me to print her a pony or a horse uh, for her birthday. And I did a little video about that horse here. You can have a look at it here. She has tried to paint it, but uh, she's still in the work in progress. But the detail on this horse is exquisite. I printed it on this machine, and I've never I've attempted something like similar to this on my other machines, and I've never got this quality out. The quality I got is a 0.4 nozzle, the usual 0.2 layer height, and the it is exquisite. Have a look at that detail on that horse. The, the detail is just absolutely amazing. So yeah, guys, is it worth the hype? I believe so. I believe that this machine is is still relevant nowadays, even though the Mark IV has come out, the Mark III is still uh, relevant. And if you pick up a secondhand one, it still works perfectly. I love this machine. I think it really is next level. And uh, I super, man, super recommend this machine to anybody who wants to buy, especially if you want to buy a secondhand machine. Uh, go and look for these. You will find them out there that there are pushers going second hand. Also, if you buy the Mark III, you can upgrade it to a Mark IV. So there are upgrade kits, kits at around $529 will buy you everything because it's got new motors and new uh, extruders and new everything. Everything is new. Uh, they've redesigned that thing from the ground up and hats off to, to Prusa and uh, to Joseph and, and his Prusa team. They have made an exceptional machine here. Uh, I love the way they've worked on the software. The software is also really great. I did a PID settings video. You can see that here. And oh, I'm showing a lot of cards in this one. <laughs> I did a PID settings on how to do it on the Prusa and on the artillery. Super simple on the Prusa. They thought these things through. That's, there's just that extra level of detail that they have thought through on this machine. I would love to get the Mark IV. Um, I will look at getting one in the future, but at the moment, I will just stick to my Mark III and carry on printing with it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button and hit the like button. Really would appreciate the subscribe. Uh, my subscribers are growing, and I thank the guys out there that are uh, subscribing to it. And last but not least, my members. I set up members, but I've sort of ignored it and i set it up but nothing's ever happened with i got my first member i want to give a special shout out to michael portelli 
Thank you so much, Bud, for becoming my first member. Super excited about that, and I really appreciate that. I've had a Patreon member, Dom, who's been on there forever, and I really appreciate your support as well. Guys, I, I really appreciate the support on this channel. It helps me to build this channel, to buy equipment, to get printers. These things are expensive, and it's difficult to do it on the current my current salary. And if I could do it through sponsorships on the YouTube, that would be awesome. So Michael Portilli, you are the man. Thank you so much. I nearly fell off my chair when I saw my first member. Super excited about that. Real big shout out to you, and I hope to get more members. I'm looking at building my members side when I want to have a Discord server on the the more, the, the second tier of the of the rewards where um, I help you and give give information and we can have a community where we can chat on discord i'm looking at setting that up so keep an eye out on my channel on my membership section thank you so much hope you have a good day god bless you and have a great day cheers god bless bye